to the 2012 Pilot Point Commencement Ceremony, otherwise known as graduation. It's been a, a huge trip for everybody to get here. And I know the family feels it most of all, but we're very proud of Kelsey and this day's about her, but we have a few other things we'd uh, like to address beforehand. Um, you really can't take one person's accomplishment without looking at the relationships that have been a part of their life. And I'm sure every one of you has been a part of Kelsey's life in some way, some more than others but we can't remove any of you from the equation that's made her as successful as she is today. Uh, it is my pleasure to be a part of now a second Pilot Point graduation, and both have bore exceptional people, and, and Kelsey is obviously no exception to that rule. Uh, she's been a person I have enjoyed thoroughly having in the classroom, um, someone that has a great sense of humor, a resiliency, a determination that's to be admired by anyone at any age. Kelsey comes and she volunteers in the elementary classroom every single day. She helps out with math. And uh, I really appreciate all that she does. And it would be much uh, harder for me to accomplish all that I do without Kelsey's assistance every single day. And so we appreciate that. One, two, three, four, five. One, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on the right. seven levels. 
William finished eight. Raquel finished ten in two and a half months, which is ridiculous. Uh, Waylon Abayo finished twelve. Now we've moved into double digits. We have blown seven away. And the top of the ladder here, Monica and Kelsey tied for first place with 15 levels. That's more than twice what would be needed for an on-time graduation. So if you'll give them an amazing round of applause. Volleyball. The coach was Mr. Matthew Grossman. You, would you like to? Do it. All right. I'm going to give him the honors of passing out all of his goodies. And we went to the district tournament and uh, did very well. And we took first place in the serving contest. So uh, congratulations to the volleyball team for taking first place in the serving contest. And we also um, had one of our members, Kelsey Kramer, make it onto the all tournament dis uh, the all tournament team. Waylon was on the good sportsmanship team. Uh, Waylon. You'd be so proud of him at these mates. He's, he's uh, helpful, he shows great leadership, he goes out of his way to help people and to show uh, incredible um, enthusiasm for encouraging other players on the, on the opposing team. So we're proud of you, Waylon, for uh, your good sportsmanship at these tournaments. And I believe Kelsey also. Uh, Kelsey's there. Uh, she does a great job of encouraging her fellow teammates. Even when some of them get down, she's always there to encourage them to stay positive and to work hard. She always, always set the example of working harder than I would say anybody else out there. She worked incredibly hard, and we're extremely proud of her good sportsmanship. And I don't know if it's a bit over your cap. Maybe it was just a hand for you. <laughs> and uh, we were on the all-tournament team, which is Kelsey. I've heard talk about that. So there you go, Kelsey. So congratulations to the volleyball team. Yeah. All right, our cross-country team was a bit smaller. It was Waylon. <laughs> and, uh, yet again, Waylon was named to the good sport team. We're sensing a theme, I would imagine. Here you go. All right, speaking of shooting, I had the uh, opportunity and the privilege to be the basketball coach this year. There are a lot of things coming out of basketball. The one we're probably the most proud of is that our team out of, I believe, 11 basketball teams uh, was named by coaches and staff as the team with the best sportsmanship. So that's something that we've taken pride in in the past, so if you'll grab on to that, it's going to get a little cumbersome in the hand you more jump. But also, uh, during the season at the end, uh, the staff and the the coaches primarily get to vote again on all tournament team and on good sports team individually, not just as a team. So those awards went to Kelsey and Waylon. Um, Kelsey received the all tournament team again, so she was all tournament in volleyball and in basketball, which is a very rare thing. Uh, it's another compliment to her hard work. Her ethics are pretty amazing in terms of how hard she works and how talented she is as a learner. Also received a medal for the good sport team, someone that showed citizenship. And <laughs> Waylon received uh, another good sport. So he's just apparently the nicest guy on the planet. Also, to go beyond niceness, to go into just, again, Kelsey's learning ability. Uh, no offense to Kelsey, but two years ago, her shot wasn't the prettiest thing for a coach to watch. I kind of went, oh, oh, it's the rim. But uh, she had a lot of ability, it was there. And what makes her able is that she will do what I say over and over and over and over again until I'm tired and I want to leave. And I'm the one trying to get her to do it. So it, it's pretty impressive. By the end of it, Kelsey was involved in an all-athletes basketball competition called the Skills Competition, a combination of dribbling, passing, and shooting. She actually took second out of all athletes, boys and girls. Then we did a shooting contest, boys and girls, and she actually took first place. Pretty impressive. group of students would be done, but we're not. We also went to AA this year. We put on a 30-minute improv <laughs> exhibition, which was hilarious. However, it was so long, I'm pretty sure it disqualified us, and they've decided to set a 10-minute rule for now. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. In addition to that, um, we had two folks, unfortunately we only have one of the medals here, two folks that received the uh, citizenship award during AA. It's probably not going to shock you that those were given to Kelsey and Waylon. Again, he didn't have his medal with him. I'm sure it's somewhere in a closet somewhere. But, no, no, it was just Waylon. Oh, 
Well, you know. I'll take it. You were traveling. <laughs> and ran a, what we thought was just a simple science project. We looked at what's better, using soap to wash your hands or sanitizer to wash your hands. And then we swapped some water that we dunked our dirty hands in and we grew the germs that were on our hands. And it was disgusting, absolutely filthy. And we took it and showed it to everybody at AA and they got so ramped up that they gave us first place in the science fair. So, pretty exciting. Here, why don't you hold that? He's already full, so. I can't say enough about the attitude first, the work ethic second, and, and just the enjoyment I've had with a group of people that have a great sense of humor and they're fun to be around. So if you give them a round of applause for their accomplishments in here. This is not something the students have done alone. It's not something I can take credit for, but it was a community from this time they were a small little toddler trying to walk around to the point that they are now. You participated in the formation of who they are, their character, and that would in my mind, is what enables them to be successful in sports and in the classroom. Who they are determines what they're able to do, and I think that's the part you played. I want to keep us going through our program, and the next portion goes to Pat Manning. We received a letter from Sean Parnell, the superintendent, um, to speak to Kelsey, and I'll ask him to read that out. Uh, Sean Parnell is actually the governor. Oh, we don't want to switch roles with these two. Huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Congratulations on completing high school. This day is an important milestone in your life, marking the threshold of new opportunities, experiences, and challenges. Whether your path now leads to college, military service, job training, the workforce, or other pursuits, you have unique talents and the potential to positively impact the world. We encourage you to walk with integrity, work hard at whatever you do, and look for ways to serve others. Never be afraid to dream big or challenge yourself. You are Alaska's bright hope and future. Along with your family, friends, and school, we are proud to congratulate you on this significant accomplishment. We wish you the very best in your future endeavors. Best regards, Sean Parnell, Governor, and me, Treadwell, Lieutenant Governor. Well, good evening. And I'd like to, I'd like to start by thanking Kelsey for having me here. I got to come down, it seems like a long time ago, but I was here just last year. Sasha, and now I get the opportunity to be a part of Kelsey's graduation as well. For this young woman, the conclusion of her high school career is not based on seat time, it's based on hard work and a lot of performance like Troy outlined. She's worked extremely hard to be where she is today and very proud. While Lake and Penn, a 3.0 is very obtainable. If you meet proficient, you get a 3.0. Um, to graduate with honors is no easy task, and Kelsey has done just that. She's graduating with an honors diploma, and she's leaving us with a 3.8 GPA and 26 credits. That is phenomenal. And much like I said last year, it's not the academic subject that she excels in by itself. She excels in leadership. She's, she excels in being a representative of the Pilot Point School and so many other things that we're just proud that she's out there as a representative of this school and her school district. A few people that have helped make this happen. I know Troy recognized some folks. Troy didn't recognize himself or Matthew, and I'd like to take a chance to do that. But before I do that, I'd like to also recognize they're better halves, because <laughs> I know they take a, they play a big role in this school, Rachel and Cora as well. But Troy, Matthew, Rachel, and Cora, can give them a big hand. <laughs> so to close, it's an honor to be here today to watch you graduate, Kelsey. And we'll be leaving Lake and Penn with a very solid education. And one of the nice things about graduating from Lake and Penn is you're graduating from a small community and you have a ton of support sitting here in the audience. You have a ton of support district-wide and never forget that. It's the jump from school to life is never easy and you're going to need some advice and there's a lot of experience here in the crowd and folks that will help you. So I encourage you to reach out and ask for help when help is needed. And um, we're just real excited to see what you do next. I guess I'm also introducing our guest speaker, uh, Casey Fletcher. And Casey is from Chignik Lagoon. She's
tissues are a number and flies around the cell part of the tissue. Casey. Hello. To family, friends, relentless supporters, and those of you who are here just for the amazing food that's about to follow. <laughs> I'm humbled to be among you to honor our lone Lynx graduate in the Pilot Point Spring Class of 2012. Kelsey. Thank you for inviting me to speak today. I'm very pleased to be here to join you in celebrating this wonderful occasion. You should be very, very proud of yourself and this accomplishment. As Dr. Seuss said, congratulations, today is your day. <laughs> You're off to great places. You are off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You are on your own, and you know what you know, and you are the one who will decide where to go. Not only do you have brains in your head and feet in your shoes, Kelsey, you have a contagious positive attitude. You never feel any kind to others, and you're always willing to offer a helping hand. You might be leaving Pilot Point, the school, the community, and the many friends behind as you move forward to UAA. But may I suggest that you carry these memories that you've made and connections you have built with you. Carry them along in this next part of your journey. Don't ever forget those people who have helped hope, prod, maybe even push you to get you to the seat you're in today. At this time, I would like to recognize Kelsey's father, Spink, her mother, Lorraine, and her sister, Sasha, who have been such great support for Kelsey through everything, even across the miles. We have Sasha back there on Skype. So please stand. We'd like to recognize you.
she goes, we'll never see her again. Uh, actually, we'd love it if you saw a lot of her in the next hour. Oh, she's back. <laughs> no, she's supposed to be waiting in the hallway because every one of you wants to hug her, I'm sure. And afterwards, hopefully you're hungry because some people brought some amazing looking food. We'd love to have you join us. So now you can just leave everything where you want. Hopefully you're enjoying your lay. But go give her a hug and let's line up for some food. Elders, you're welcome to dig in as soon as the food is available. And thank you again for coming. <laughs>